This one's called Pipistrelle. Ivy House Farm, late summer evening. The two of us waiting for a touch of dusk to dust our listing roof before the fast dispersing slick of bats spilled from behind its eaves to charge the sky with patches of flitting dark. Pipistrelle, after a day's hanging, wing stretching, soaring, circling, diving. Me, nervous, head hatted, reviving folklore, childhood tales of bats sticking to hair. You, age 11, reassuring, reviving education, explaining the laws of echolocation. Suddenly they were gone, a darkening sky sending us indoors to draw curtains on their world while it poured them over fields to hunt, flit through woods, dive dip streams, echolocate mosquitoes. We never saw them return as they slipped snow silent behind eaves or sought the attic. One day you found one roosting in your bedroom, brought it to show me, placed it on my palm. A small velvet mouse sandwiched between five, two five-fingered wings turned a blind face upwards. I wondered if it was echolocating, receiving an image of my face, wondered if it felt my fear dissolve. 